It all began in a small beach town in Delaware, within a large family. Brittany Hazard was the youngest of nine brothers and sisters. She looked up to their musical taste and listened to whatever they did. At 14 years old, she started to write poetry, short stories, and rapping. Upon graduation from Delaware State University, Stara moved to LA to work full-time and pursue her love of writing. She was selling hooks on Instagram for only $100. One day, I was surfing through SoundCloud and was fortunate enough to discover Stara. Her true talent stuck out to me and I knew her songs would change the world. I reached out to Stara and we began to email back and forth and build a connection through our shared love for music. We met for the first time at a Starbucks. Her talent, work ethic, and personality fascinated me. I was especially blown away by how genuine of a person she was and I knew we could have a great friendship. Because of her abundance of amazing qualities, I offered to manage her. I knew that Star was someone I wanted to work with and we began trying to take over the industry in all the best ways. She started to really build a name for herself with her first big song placement with DJ Mustard and J-Gram. They came up with the track Be Real, which ultimately became a hit for rappers Kid Ink and Dej Loaf. Be Real ended up going platinum and made its way to number 43 on the Billboard Hot 100. Unfortunately, the industry monsters tried to tell Stara that she was too urban. Without losing hope and determination, she continued to blaze the trail for songwriters everywhere. Following the success of Be Real, Stara relentlessly maintained her elevation of the state of music by creating hits like Jeremiah's Past That featuring Stara, remix featuring The Weeknd, Pick Up the Phone by Travis Scott and Young Thug, also another version featuring Stara, and Rihanna's Needed Me. She even received a Grammy nomination for Needed Me, which hit number seven on the Hot 100 and was Rihanna's longest charting single to date. Stara also contributed to half of Calvin Harris's album, Funk Wave Bounces Volume One. Stara continued to push the boundaries of her creativity by entering into different genres, helping upcoming artists explode, such as Halsey with her first hit single, Now or Never and Camila Caballo with her first number one worldwide hit single, Havana. In 2018, Stara made history by being the first female in 16 years to win ASCAP's Pop Songwriter of the Year award. This monumental achievement could not have been awarded to a better person. Brittany, thank you for being such an amazing friend, client, and business partner, as well as therapist to the stars. Nobody sees how much you affect these artists' lives and any lives that you touch but millions of people feel it through your songs. I couldn't be more proud of you. Happy birthday, Brittany. I love you so much.